Flowers Plantation was a tobacco and cotton plantation from the mid-1700s until 1982. The 44 parcels seen on this map were the original different tracts of land purchased by the Joshua Percy Flowers family beginning in 1905. Track 25 was the original Joshua Washington Flowers track purchased in 1905 by Joshua Percy Flowers' father and mother when he was two years old. They moved here to the Dr. Josiah Ogden Watson home place and the family began to farm the 266 original acres. In 1982, Delma Whitley Flowers and her daughter, Rebecca Dale Flowers, began to face a new life and find a way to keep the 4,000 acres. In 1986, Rebecca Flowers employed Mr. Lewis Clark of Raleigh, North Carolina, to design a concept of a future planned community. Mr. Clark was nationally known and was instrumental in assisting with the many details involved in planning a community so large that it would take over 40 years to develop. The actual developing began in the mid-1980s. However, the land was not zoned until 1998 by Johnston County. Johnston County had no zoning and in 1998 the Flowers Plantation PUD was the first property zoned. The acreage was divided by Roman numerals, and each of the nine section or Roman numerals was assigned a certain number of residential units or lots. All totaled comes to 7,790 lots. The planned urban unit development achieved its governance documents preparation in 1997 by Hyatt and Stubblefield of Atlanta, Georgia. The legal governing documents were recorded prior to the Planned Community Act. Therefore, the Flowers Plantation Foundation, Inc. is not subject to the Planned Community Act. The longevity of the current development and planning involved a different type of governance documents, which afforded the declarant, Rebecca Flowers, the ability to independently make decisions from the early years through the 40 years that would affect present and many years of the future. This was accomplished through legal documents called the Flowers Plantation Foundation, Inc., a nonprofit foundation that provided maintenance of acres and roadways, landscapes that benefited those who purchased a great value to their investment. The method of payment for this maintenance was through a formula that gave equitable fair ratios to each resident. For example, if the maintenance was $300,000 annually, then the number of recorded homes, lots was the denominator and the amount for the maintenance was the numerator. There was a formula that equated the commercial by square footage to have an equivalent of residential units. Therefore, the commercial properties pay into the January annual budget just as the residential units pay. The number of units considered in December of each year for payment for the following year in January are only those recorded as of December of each year. The second legal document was designed to allow the declarant of the PUD, Rebecca Flowers, governance of the many details of such a massive plan. That includes architectural review and approval and decision-making without the equivalent of a municipal town council. The Flowers Plantation Foundation, Inc. legal documents may be found on the Flowers Plantation website under legal documents.